is, is inspire them. If anyone read the book Good to Great, the book Good to Great, it said get everyone on the bus. Get to, the Good to Great was based on 15 companies that were the best companies in the world that stayed the best companies in the world for long periods of time. One of the things it said was get the good people on the bus. But what if you got the good people on the bus and they were sitting in the wrong seats? He said just get them on the bus. I bet you there are some of you in this room that worked for organizations before that they didn't tap your potential. You knew that you were better, but they didn't tap your potential. Well, it's getting good people on the bus, but putting them in the right seats, getting the most of the people. And how do we do that? We do it by leveraging your strengths. Now, when I say leveraging your strengths, I don't mean your attributes, you know, like I'm a good person, I'm, I'm aggressive, I'm this. Your strengths are the activities you do. Remember on the eight, it said act the activities that you do, the things you do at work, even number three, why people leave, the things you do at work that make you feel empowered, that make you feel invigorated. Those are your strengths. Like for me, I could do a sale because I know you, you're dying to participate. I just know it. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just pick a couple people and, and I'll get you to come up and we'll, we'll pick a topic and you can do an impromptu speech. Does that sound good? Now look, where'd all the eyes go? They all went like this. <laughs> See, that's because for many people, that's not what empowers you. That's not what makes you feel excited. For me, that's what empowers me. That's, if you ask, what's your favorite part of your job? This is it. This is it. In front of an audience, coaching someone. But if you said, Eddie, you got to do your HST report, or you got to do a spreadsheet, I would rather take a pencil and poke it in my eye. But I'm sure there are people out here that love spreadsheets. You would die for pivot tables. Time stands still when you're doing spreadsheets. For me, time stands still when I'm here. That's why I often almost run out of time. So, so your strengths are activities. And your job as a leader is to get people to do the things at work, the activities that make them feel good, that when they go home, they make them feel good. So we're going to do, this is the last scientific experiment we're going to do.